Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to measure whether a button cell or coin cell battery is dead or whether it's good. You can apply a general rule that if the battery is in the shape of a coin, if your battery looks like this one here or this one or this one, you can just assume that it is going to have 3.0 volts, if good. <clears throat> and if it has a voltage around 2.5 volts or less, you can assume that it is bad. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate that really quickly with the voltmeter, which I'll uh, describe later. And since batteries all are DC, you'll want to set your meter to the DC voltage setting and place the black lead in the center of the battery. This is with the battery marking down towards the table. And then take your red lead and place it on the side. So this battery measures 3.3 volts, so that is uh, above the 3.0 volts for a good cell, so that's definitely a good battery, probably never used. And we'll do that again, so black lead in the center, red lead on the side, and that one is actually less than 1 volt, so that is definitely bad. As I said, if it's less than 2.5 volts, it is a bad battery. Okay. And the last one here, black lead in the center, red lead on the side. And we're just under 3 volts. So that is a marginally good battery. And I'll just slide that up to the top. And actually I wanted to keep track which one was dead. Okay, so that's the dead one. Move that down just to keep them separate. Okay, so those are coin cells. <clears throat> and that's how you would go about testing to determine whether they're good or bad. And when it comes to button cells, as I'll call them, uh, so roughly the size of a button, so a little smaller. You can just divide those two numbers by two and you'll have the good voltage and the bad voltage. You don't really have to get to that level of precision, but just to keep it consistent, I'll do that. So. If you measure 1.5 volts or greater, that's a good battery. If you measure less than 1.25 volts, that is a bad battery, and you'll want to recycle that. Okay, so same technique as I just did on the coin cells, just a little smaller. So in order to test these batteries, you will want to flip them over so that the negative is face up and the positive is face down. So black lead in the center of the cell, red lead on the side. Okay, that one's just below 1.5 volts, so that one's okay. And then the next one, black lead in the center, red lead on the side. Wow, 0 0.3 volts, that's definitely a dead battery. So I'm gonna move that one down to the bottom here. And then the last battery, black lead in the center, red lead on the side. 1.234 so that's just under the 1.25 mark that may give you like a couple more hours of use for the certain device but at that point when you've measured it you've already spent enough time on that battery so i'd recommend recycling that one as well so that's how you go about testing batteries in general when it comes to coin cells and button cells and briefly these are two digital multimeters that are available on the market today. From my experience using fluke meters, they're definitely quality meters. And as to the other one, it has good reviews on Amazon and it's low cost, so it may not be great, but should be able to measure voltages pretty well. And for those of you who are curious about batteries at all, okay, there are three different types of coin cell. First, we have the CR classification that is gonna be a lithium battery. It has a nominal voltage of 3.0 volts, so that's a good, happy battery. And when it reaches around 2 volts, that's going to be when it's dead, and you're going to want to replace it with a fresh battery. And then we have the SR classification. That's going to be silver oxide. It has a nominal voltage of 1.55 volts, so that's a good, happy battery. And when it's dead, you'll be around 1.2 volts. 
And the last classification has the prefix LR, that is an alkaline cell. It has a nominal voltage of 1.50 volts, and when it reaches the 1.0 volts, that is when it's dead, and you're going to need to replace it. Okay, so those are the three classifications of batteries. There is also a fourth class, but we're not going to get into that because I don't have any on hand. This is the lithium battery. As you can see, it has a nominal voltage right around 3 volts, and that carries on for the majority of its life and then drops off pretty steeply at around 2.5 volts. All right, this is the SR prefix, silver oxide, and you can see this has an extraordinarily steep knee. Um, here it is at its nominal voltage just above uh, 1.55 volts for the majority of its life, almost its entire life, and then it drops off extremely steeply. This is the alkaline cell. As you can see, it has a much worse performance than the other two I showed you. Uh, this is pretty similar to what you'll see with a AA or AAA battery. So here we are at its nominal voltage of 1.5 volts, and it's continually just dropping off through its life and then it starts to drop off more steeply right around 1.1 volts and at 1 volt is where they stop measuring the voltage so that's if you're interested in these kinds of things because they're awesome